Let's see if I can get a good beat on him. And let's see if I can find him right here. Here he is. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. This is your bro Benzo back with a special kind of LSPDFR video. Today we're a conservation officer, also known as a game warden and wildlife manager. And we're a special kind of law enforcement agent that actually upholds laws and regulations of wildlife and natural environment. This should be a pretty fun episode. We're going to be rocking out in this really nice 2017 Ford Raptor by Trooper Goats off the LSPDFR.com site. So I'm going to go ahead and show you to run the vehicle right now. This thing is super cool. Really nice. So I'm going to show you run the vehicle right now. You can see the livery is super nice. You can see this is conservation officer right there. I've never really seen a livery like this before. So it's uh, kind of one of a kind. About 2015, I'm sorry, 2017 Ford Raptor. The lighting pattern is what really makes this thing special. So here's uh, pattern one right here. Just uh, kind of like more of a traffic advisory. Pattern two is just epic right here. And then we also have one more pattern, which is even more epic. Full takedowns right there. And you can see we even got some foot panel lighting right there as well. Got our light bar. Love this thing. And what really makes this thing even more special is the inside. You can see right there, we got full working gauges as well. And you can see the radar right there and the nice uh, police computer. Turned out really good. I really like this thing. But we're going to go ahead and get on patrol and we're going to make our way down. We're just going to leave our lights more in the secondary position. And of course we do hear explosions out here quite a bit. We'll, we'll be uh, kind of patrolling up around looking for people may be stranded. We may even get some distress calls, those kind of things. People being attacked by wildlife. We do get a lot of those out here. But we also have a lot of people that do illegal hunting and also illegal fishing. Hey, what's going on, Bob? All right. But there's a lot of hikers out here. This is always nice trails and stuff like that. There's always people out here fishing. And uh, I'll probably pop up over here and just make sure that, you know, they have their permits and stuff like that to fish. Yeah, here we go. They're not really doing anything wrong. But I just want to make contact right here. You can see we got a guy over there, too. You know, literally just... And, whoa, we got shots fired. Whoa, get, get down, man. Get down. Get down right there. Shots fired, shots fired. Three John, we have shots fired out here. Three John, ten four copy. Wow, just when I thought the episode was going to be just kind of laid back, man. I was just going to ask these guys for their freaking IDs. I know there's going to be a guy with a sniper rifle out here. Wow. All right, so one thing we can do since we're out here in the wilderness is it would take a long time for EMS to get out here. Oh, it looks. Oh, look at here, guys. I just noticed something. We got a small plane right there that actually just crashed. That's the that's the explosion we heard earlier. Wow, there's a lot of things going on right now. So let's go ahead and get an air ambulance, otherwise known as a care flight where I live in North Texas. We have a medical emergency in Cassidy Creek. All units respond code 99. We are airborne and en route. Okay, I'm gonna go check and see if there's any survivors over here with this plane crash. This is like a random thing that just happened. He must have just clipped. Okay, I don't see anybody in there. Maybe he parachuted out or something like that. Or is he in there? Yeah, he's in there. We may try to call carefully. He, he's deceased. So we're going to go ahead and call in corner over here. Okay, 3 John, we need to get a corner wagon out here to Cassidy Trail. We got a DOA. 3 John, 10-4. All right, so he just repelled from the, you can see from the actual police helicopter right there. Okay, we got a coroner coming to take him away as well. Uh, this episode is uh, kind of starting off a little quicker than I thought. 
This is pretty nice. And also, guys, anytime in the video, I'm going to call out a benzo timestamp, okay? Anytime in the video. So be sure to look out for that because it's going to be a random one. And what I do is call out a benzo timestamp and see who is the cool people that are actually watching the video at that particular time. And let's see if that cool person is you in the comment section. All right, so the corners are working on that gentleman there. We're going to go down and talk to these guys right here. They're not really doing much, anything wrong. You see, we got wildlife everywhere. I was going to show you just we have people, you know, camping over there, too. It's not like a big deal. She's just hanging out. That may be her husband right there doing some fishing. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to this gentleman right here. He seems to be carrying the rod and reel. Let's talk to him real fast. Hello, sir. Benzo at the uh, conservation offices. Do you happen to have your uh, fishing license, please? Okay, he does have a valid fishing license. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate that. You can carry on. And this guy is just kind of hanging out. He didn't have a rod and reel. I don't see any, you know, fishing type things. All right. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Okay. We may head back over on the other side as well. Just, and also uh, one more thing we can do too is just check out this camper right here. Make sure there's nothing coming back on a 1028. Uh, 3 John, let me go ahead and get a 1028 on a vehicle. It's going to be a camper. It's going to be 23 Adam Lincoln uh, Robert 290. Target license plate. 23 Adam Lincoln Robert okay, 290. Okay, they're all good. No, this is kind of what conservation officers do. They just kind of patrol up and down, making sure things are legit. And then uh, we may get a call out here. You now we're uh, hooked into dispatch as well. Gotta love this water, right? These graphics, the graphics mods are awesome. If you want a link to that, it's in my description, guys. Epic, right? Okay, they're, uh, you know. This lady back over here somewhere was uh, camping. I don't mind them camping up here, to be honest. We'll pop up right here. But I do want to talk to her husband down there and make sure he has a valid hunting license. Uh, there was a female over here. She must be inside the tent. Hello, sir. Deputy Benzo with the uh, conservation office. Game Warden. Can I see your uh, fishing license, please? All right, thank you, sir. Uh, sir, I don't know if you knew this or not, but your fishing license is expired. Scumbag. Yeah, don't listen to my character, sir. Also, uh, your breath reeks of alcohol. I don't really have a problem with you being, you know, having a few beers out here, but. You know, I'm sorry, I got a job to do, man. Okay, we're going to probably write him a citation as well. What we're going to do is pull up a police tablet right here. And then what we're going to do is toggle this off. We're going to look him up real fast. His license is suspended. It's not like a big deal, but you can see his other citation is there. Indecent exposure. Okay. All right, we're going to have to create him a citation. And then uh, we'll make it under public. Uh, they may not have one, to be honest, for this. So, I may have to just put it under something like illegal camping. Even though it's really not, it's more illegal fishing. But that's alright, we'll just leave it at that. We'll put it on here. Uh, we'll just say illegal uh, fishing, uh, fishing license expired can't spell today sorry all right we're gonna save that it's not like a real big deal all right sir I'm gonna hand you this citation 
How about signing the Shirtout Medellin Guild? Just make sure she appear in court. Okay, thank you, sir. Make sure you get your rotten reel that's in the water over there, sir. You don't want that thing to rot. All right, thank you, sir. Right, we're going to get back in our vehicle. This lovely 2017 Ford Raptor by Trooper Goats. Okay, guys, right today, right now in this video, we're going to go ahead and do a Benzo timestamp, guys. This is an official Benzo timestamp right now in the video. I greatly appreciate everybody that is watching right now in the video at this right specific time. All you do is look at the video time, go down to the comment section, and actually just post that video time that you see in the comment section. That's all you do. Simple as that. And I'll do my very best to try to respond back to you. If I do not respond back to you, you know, within a couple of days, it's probably because I'm at work or doing some other odd and end things, you know. Life, you know how life gets in the way sometimes. But I'll do my best to try to respond to you. I greatly appreciate it watching the video that long. And we're going to continue on our patrol. Okay, we are on Cassidy Trail. Really like it out here. This reminds me of where I live. We have a person hunting without a permit in the Chile's Mountain State Wilderness. Respond code 2. Read John, copy that. Okay, we have some uh, indications that someone's out here hunting without a possible permit. Someone called it in. They may have tagged themselves a boar or a deer, something like that. See, I kind of like to check on vehicles like this too that are, you know, pulled off to the side unoccupied. Could be a stolen vehicle, could be a lot of things. But since we're in a vehicle like this, you know, we can just pop up on top of this. This is why the uh, Ford Raptor is special right here, guys. And we'll just kind of cut across. Okay. That was an accident. And we have to kind of be careful because there's a lot of mountain lines and stuff down here. Okay, we're almost on scene. But I really like uh, the mountains and stuff out here. This kind of reminds me of uh, almost near Yellowstone, things like that, right? Let me know down in the comments section if you've ever been to Yellowstone. I love it out there. Okay, three, John, we're on scene. Acknowledged. What do you do? Kill a, a rabbit or something? We do need to kind of be careful though. What the hell, man? What'd you do? Kill a coyote? Yeah, he killed a coyote right there. Hey, sir. This is uh, Game Warden uh, Benzo, Conservation Office. Show me some ID. Let's see your ID, please. Whoa! Shots fired! Shots fired! Three John, shots fired. Three John, copy that. Okay, three John, shots fired. We have suspect down. He turned his weapon on me. Okay, I don't know why in the hell he turned his weapon on me. He's got some issues. Okay, all he did is kill this coyote right here, so this is what we're going to do first. We're going to call in an actual vet for the coyote first. How about that? <laughs> That's the way Benzo rolls. And then we'll call him in an uh, actual care flight. Whoa, there goes the vet, man. I think the vet can get up here. They're probably at the spawn up here or something. Okay, three, John. We're going to need to get... Uh, Air ambulance up here as well. Care flight. Go to that. Hi. Got a cool uh, plane right there heading towards us. Hopefully it doesn't hit that mountain. 
Okay, she's checking him out right there. Catch you later. All right, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm trying to call an an air ambulance, but he's saying that the thing's dead. So, I do believe that's what he said. All right, we'll try one more time. Okay, here we, we go. Have a medical emergency in the Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. All units respond. Code 99 emergency. Okay, thank you. Thank you, dispatch. Okay, we have care flight inbound. Let me get my vehicle out of the way. I do believe this is probably his vehicle right here. This rebel. Okay, they're going to repel down. And they're going to probably uh, try to take him uh, to the uh, nearest level one trauma clinic. But this is kind of funny. They usually come up here and say, kill flung to me. Oh my God. Yeah, I know, right? That's good grouping, guys. That's good grouping, okay? You gotta admit. He's got three or four to the center chest. Goodbye. Alright, bye. Attention all units. We are code four. No further units required. I'm your Huckleberry. All right, this is uh, three John. He get a uh, ten twenty eight. It's gonna be on a rebel five seven Nora, Sam Ida five seven three. Target vehicle license plate five seven Nora Sam Ida five seven three no ten ninety nine. Ten four. He get a fifty one in my location. We're gonna be on Cassidy Trail. Just at your convenience, please. Thank you. I don't know, man. I love it out here. Let me know, guys, if you like this kind of stuff. We'll uh, live stream this one. We do a lot of live streaming in the channel. Oh. Whoa, here comes uh, the tow truck. They're probably going to need us to back away here. Y'all like my tow truck? It's pretty cool, right? Triple A. <laughs> going to go down the, the hill, man. Good luck with that. He's got a good truck, but I don't know, man. Pulling a rebel like that. Okay, continuing with patrol. Okay, we're going to be going eastbound Cassidy Trail, looking for any kind of stranded hikers or anybody that, uh, any kind of mountain lions or anything like that as well. Citizens report a vicious animal on the loose in the Alamo Sea. Oh, we're right here. Hey, John, copy that. Okay, we're right here. And looks like we have uh, somebody that's running down the trail here. Okay, I'll spot one person there running, but I'm also spotting. Yeah, there's a mountain lion right there. Okay, and unfortunately, we are going to need to make sure that the mountain lion doesn't get away because he was about to actually kill somebody. So we're going to have to, you know, unfortunately end his life. Okay, we have to get a sniper rifle here. See if I can get a good beat on him. And let's see if I can find him right here. Here he is. Attention all Got units. Him. We are code four. No further units required. Hey John, copy that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get in a you know, a vet just to make sure he's okay. I mean, he's probably dead from that sniper shot there. I mean, that looked like a 50 cal bullet. We're gonna go check on him real fast. Make sure he's not suffering. And the vet may have a hard time finding him as well, so we may need to call the vet again. Uh, yeah, he is so far away. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure he is right about here. So he's probably already despawned, maybe. But we'll let the vet take care of that. 
Yeah, the vet's saying there's no injured animals or anything because it was so far away. So let the role play that a little bit and, you know, say the animal got picked up. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and end our episode right here. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel and watching the Conservation Officer Game Warden episode. And be sure to stick around as I upload daily content, guys. And we also stream live in this channel three to four days a week. So make sure that you stop by and visit Benzo. And if you have not subscribed, make sure you do that as well. And hit a like before you leave. I'd greatly appreciate that. Take care, and we'll see you on the next episode. Later, guys.